Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to talk to you about my novel, The Karma Farmers, and I'm going to start like this. In order to win an argument, the visionary theatre director Ken Campbell once said, I'm not mad, I've just read different books. It's a beautiful defence. Uh, it also implies a world of secret knowledge should you choose to look for it. But some books can lead you into dangerous and difficult waters. For example, here's a selection of some of the books that my protagonist, Bradley Holmeson, a 30-something bookshop manager, has been delving into. Let's have a look. So, a very disparate selection of books, but all bizarrely connected by one man, David Bohm. The late David Bohm was a brilliant theoretical physicist, a colleague of Einstein and Oppenheimer, but he was also a Marxist in 1950s America, so consequently his work became marginalised. He ended his days in a psychiatric hospital. And so, judging by this reading matter, it's true to say that my protagonist is experiencing something of a crisis. And here it is. He can't accept that one day his mind will cease to exist. After the four billion years of evolution that it's taken to create his mind, he can't accept that one day it will be snuffed out for all of eternity. It just doesn't seem fair. Now, it sounds like a problem for theology, but he doesn't believe in God. He intends to resolve this problem by science. And so, inspired by the works of David Bohm, our protagonist, the bookshop manager, sets out to research a lost quantum paradigm, a scientific model that suggests consciousness will survive the death of the physical body. He writes his ideas up into a little revolutionary manifesto called Death and Physics, and he hides copies on shelves of local bookshops in the hope that people will find it, rave about it, leaving him to surf a wave of viral fame. He doesn't want revolution quite so much as public recognition, because in spite of all this philosophical posturing, the hero is motivated by unrequited love. However, death and physics unleashes a torrent of unwanted attention from weird occultists to special security forces. And when a former colleague of David Bohm is killed, our protagonist finds himself at the centre of a murder investigation. This is not the literary adventure he was looking for. Meanwhile, the contract killer, Finnegan, the man the police are looking for, begins to experience symptoms of necromantic possession. And having read Holmson's book, he seeks him out, demanding explanations. So, thrown together by circumstance, hunted by the law, this unlikely pair must now resolve their differences to uncover the meaning behind an audacious occult experiment. So, the background of the Karma Farmers is a quest for the holy grail of science, should it exist. It's a fast-paced adventure of homicidal intrigue in which our hero comes face to face with the violent, the obsessed and the dangerously misguided, armed only with his defensive sarcasm and his fear of confrontation. And all this to impress the woman he loves. It's a great read and I can say that completely objectively. So welcome to Unbound, welcome to this great experiment in publishing which allows new authors to be sponsored directly by their readers. Um, and remember that making a pledge isn't just an act of generosity, you will also be getting a great book to read. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, any questions, if you want to get in touch with me, I'll be here in the shed. Thanks.